Oh, hello. It's another uh, notes page. So here's our table of contents. You can tell because it says table of contents. And there's all of our topics. Look how many topics we've learned already. We are super math learners. Today is, uh, I believe, the 26th of October. All right. And um, after multiplying decimals, what do you think we're going to write about? If you guessed dividing decimals, oh my gosh, did you guess correctly? All right, dividing decimals, dividing decimals. So um, once again, here's our table of contents. We've learned a lot of things. We're going to keep working through. Y'all are doing great. All right, so let's go ahead and take a tour of what we've learned so far this year. Blank, kind of. Whole number place value. Estimation. Multiplication with zeros trick. Multiplying two digit by three digit numbers. Basic division, which is coming back. Remember dividend, divisor, and quotient. So if you forget what those mean, remember they're on this page from September 7th. Order of operations, strip diagrams, and unknown values. Prime and composite numbers. Decimal place value. Comparing and ordering decimals, rounding decimals, adding and subtracting decimals, multiplying decimals, and yes, we have arrived at our destination. Today's new note page, dividing decimals, the date, it's the 26th. And then we're going to draw a line, and then we're going to put our essential question. All right. Oof. So there's our essential question, EQ. All right. So we're going to ask ourselves, how is dividing decimals similar and different than dividing whole numbers. I learned from my mistake last time that I could fit more into my essential question if I put more words in the first line because if you look at our essential question, it's basically the same thing as the last essential question. How is multiplying decimals similar and different from multiplying whole numbers? Well, look at our essential question today. How is dividing decimals similar and different from, than dividing whole numbers? So we've taken a look, and we've done this in class a little bit, but we definitely are going to have some notes that remind us how to do this. All right. So remember, it's just like regular long or sonic division. Ignore the decimal point until the end. Double exclamation point. <laughs> Just like regular division, ignore the decimal point until the end. Here my exclamation point smile. All right, so. Let's set up a problem. All right, so the first thing, remember, we're going to have our divisor on the outside of the house, our dividend on the inside of the house, and our quotient will be the number or the answer on top. Come back to the next video and let's check it out.